Welcome to Tinkernut.com's videocast. If you have any questions, please email me at admin at Tinkernut.com. In this video, I'm going to go over a 3D rendering program called Blender. Now, this is just going to be a very quick, basic uh, tutorial over Blender. If you want something that's more in depth uh, for Blender video tutorials, if you go to YouTube, do a search for Super 3 Boy. And uh, he has some excellent video tutorials uh, on Blender that kind of go in depth on different topics. Um, but it, that's, this is an excellent resource for Blender. So to get started, what you want to do is do a Google search for Blender. And then just click on download in the resulting links. And that will take you to Blender's download home page. So uh, just save it to your computer and then install it. And during the installation process, it's going to uh, prompt you to install Python, which is a programming language. So just go ahead and install that as well for your version of uh, Windows or Linux. So once they're through installing, it should automatically launch Blender. And I'm just going to go over some uh, real quick keyboard shortcuts to kind of get you moving. I'm going to go over views first, so here's kind of what I'm going to be going over. Um, zero is the camera view on your number pad, three is the side view, one is the front view, seven is the top view, and then if you do alt and left click with your mouse then you can free rotate around the area and if you hit control alt and then left click you can zoom in and out of an area. So uh, if you hit G on your keyboard you can move objects uh, anywhere on the map and if you hit S on your keyboard you can resize it and then if you hit R on your keyboard you can rotate the objects um, and then also if you hit control and D on your keyboard you can duplicate objects and move them around and put them wherever you want and uh, then you can just mess around with all those different settings to create a scene um, you can free rotate, resize zoom in, zoom out, all those different things. If you look at this little target right here, this is a launch area. If you hit the space bar, you'll see a menu pops up over it and it allows you to add a mesh item like a, a circle or cube or sphere. I'm just going to add a UV sphere and if you click on the directional arrows on that object, you can move the object in that direction. So uh, I'm going to add a couple more items here and this is my final scene. So now if you hit F12 on your keyboard that will render the scene out and show you what it looks like from the camera. Now if you want to edit an object, right click on the object to select it, then hit the tab key to convert it to mesh and you can hit the A key to select all the points or none of them. But if you just want to select one point, right click on that one point and you can drag it out or up and down. If you want to select multiple points, uh, hold down the shift key and right click on the multiple points and you can drag them out. So now if I want to animate it, I'm going to go to the menu and select one animation. And uh, if I go down to the timeline and hit I, it brings up an insert key for location, rotation, and scale, depending on how you change the object. So for instance, if I drag the timeline to one second and change the location of the sphere, I'll go down to the timeline, hit I, and select location. You can do the same thing for uh, rotation and, uh, and scale. And if you go back to zero once you're through and hit Alt A, it's going to show you the animation that you just created. If you want to render it out, go up to render and select render animation. Alright, that's it for this tutorial from we'll go to tinkernut.com.